We're looking at the connection between organizations and society. And from the get-go, we were looking at how uh, businesses and business leaders, CEOs, need to respond to the various challenges that they're facing from the system level to the organization level to the individual level. And the proposal here now is that given the various challenges that there are different ways of looking at management, looking at organizing, looking at leadership. And I'm going to provide you some mem memorable, I hope, uh, metaphors. And I call this from sandwich to bagel management. And what am I playing with here? There are current problems that require this new perspective. We know that. We've heard this. I've said this before. And as Albert Einstein said, his problems cannot be solved with the same mindset that created them. And even though that mindset can be very sticky, I'm hoping that we can sort of transcend those mindsets. And one of the two models that I've tried to propose throughout the course, one of the two mindsets that, uh, that we can play with. One is called the economistic model, which I think is the traditional prevailing model of how we look at organizing, how we look at management, how we look at business, and how we look at success. And then there is an alternative one that I call the humanistic one. You can call it anything you want, but just for the sake of it, we call it humanistic. Uh, is another model that looks at success in a different way, that looks at organizing in a different way, that looks at the relationship between organizations and society in a different manner. The economistic model, <clears throat> the idea of us as greedy bastards that want to achieve wealth, power and status most formally, is uh, potentially allowing for other drives to play a role, but the drive to bond, the drive to comprehend, and the drive to offend, if they are addressed in that context, oftentimes just serve our quest for wealth, power, and status. So, for example, the drive to bond may be considered networking, and networking is an instrumental value or instrumental activity towards being more successful, wealthier, more powerful. It is not something that we do intrinsically just to feel good and to build trust with other people. But no, it is something that serves the purpose of becoming wealthier, more powerful, more, uh, having more status. <clears throat> Same thing with the drive to comprehend. If we talk about purpose and meaning in the context of organizing, it is all connected to creating more success, more profitability, more money, <clears throat> more power, etc. Same with the drive to defend. We do certain things to feel psychologically safe in order to serve the higher purpose of creating wealth, etc. This is workable. This works at many levels. I would say it is not the kind of mindset that will get us to shift in the way that Larry Fink is suggesting, that many other <clears throat> uh, managers are thinking in terms of addressing the issues that organizations face currently in society. The other model, the humanistic model, suggests that we have these four independent drives and they need to be balanced for us to feel like we are human. And that dignity threshold matters for us and matters for others. And the ultimate goal of success is that we achieve a certain level of well-being, happiness or flourishing. Let's look at how we can make this clearer. I think we all in the United States at least know of these triangular sandwiches. Sometimes I bring them with me uh, to just showcase. This triangular sandwich to me seems like a perfect illustration for the economistic model of how organizations operate within society. <clears throat> Responsibility here is seen as maximization. More is better. More money, more profit, more power, more market share. That is the responsibility of the organization. And a CEO, a manager, a leader is good when they achieve that. They're responsible in that context. They do their job when they maximize. The humanistic model can see and allow <clears throat> a different perspective of organizing, management, and interaction between business and society. <clears throat> Rather than simple maximization, 
I propose that it, management can be seen through the metaphor of the bagel. Okay. Rather than the triangular sandwich, a wholesome bagel has a hole in the middle, which I consider the dignity threshold. In management, we understand, in society, we understand that people have certain basic needs. The four drives. They need to be met beyond a dignity level. We need to have food, we need to have purpose, we need to have friends and family, <clears throat> and we need to be safe. We need to have shelter. If we don't have those basic needs met, we don't feel human, we feel like animals, we don't feel good, we're not performing, we don't feel safe. We're not at any level able to flourish. The outside of the bagel represents the planetary boundaries. <clears throat> the aspect that even if we want to maximize, there are limits. There are limits to growth, there are limits to maximization. Within the, from the core and within the boundaries, we have a safe and just operating zone for humanity. As Kate Rayworth is saying, this model maybe a donut model or here a bagel model allows us to see a different perspective of what it means to manage well to manage well internally but to manage well within society and so i suggest <clears throat> that we can see responsible management good leadership as staying or getting into the safe and just operating zone getting into the bagel <clears throat> 